All right, what's going on guys? Gonna do some saltwater fishing today in Hollywood. So simple rig, one ounce sinker, about eight, 10 inches above that. We just got a size eight hook. Uh, gonna keep it fairly small. Not going for big fish here, just going for a hopefully a large variety of fish. We we'll always like to get some new ones for my life list. That's kind of my goal here in the salt water. You never know what you're gonna get. And then on these, we're just gonna put on a little small piece of shrimp. So let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. There we go, fish on. Little pinfish. Yeah, so within a minute of being here, we got our first fish. Last time I was here, we got tons of pinfish, so I hope it's not the same today. Hope we get some different fish, but not a bad start. Fish on. First puffer of the day. Is this a southern puffer? So I believe this is going to be a new species of puffer to me. This is going to be a southern puffer. I've caught the checkered, caught the bantail. This is a southern. Doesn't have the checkered on top. Doesn't have the bands on the tail like the bantail. So new species for not only for the day but for my life list. That's a nice little catch. Fish on. So fish three for the day, I think it is, just another little pinfish. Another pinfish. Fish on. Feels like a bigger one. Just a big checkered puffer. Alrighty, second puffer species of the day. First checkered puffer. This one's a fatty too, but nice fish. So action so far has been pretty good. I mean, I get hits almost as soon as it drops like that. Oh, there we go. This one feels a little bigger too. On oh, just another checkered puffer. So yeah, action isn't too bad. Couple puffers, couple pinfish. Let's get this guy back and let's get some other species. Fish on. Oh, what do we got? Oh. It dropped off. That looked like a new species. Let's get this bait fixed and back on down there. All right, so even with the small size eight hook, I've been getting a lot of hits that I can't hook up with. So I think those little fish might be the culprits, whatever they were. It looked like some sort of a Mohara species maybe. fish on. This one's a little bit bigger. Another checkered puffer. All the big ones today have been checkered puffers and all the little ones I can't seem to catch. These little fish, man. As soon as my bait hits the bottom. There we go, fish on. Oh, it's a puffer. Anytime, it's a, anytime I hook a fish, it's a puffer. Anytime I can't hook a fish, I'm sure it's one of those little guys that I'm trying to catch. So yeah, lost track. This is like my fifth checkered puffer or something like that. Those little fish are all over the place. I just can't hook up with them. Anytime I do, just one of these guys. Fish 
fish on, another puffer. So many of these guys today. fish on what is this oh yes 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 okay finally got one of those all right so after well over an hour I finally got to hook up and catch one of those little guys that I couldn't catch earlier it's definitely some sort of Mohara species but I'm not sure which one so these guys have been stealing my bait the whole time I'll ID it later but I'm glad glad to finally figure out what those guys were So finally, after well over an hour, probably an hour and a half at this point, I got one of those fish. So literally, as soon as my bait hit the bottom, I'd get a nibble, I'd set the hook, nothing. Get a nibble, set the hook, nothing. I must have had over 100 hits from what I think are those fish down there, and I finally caught one. So I'm happy with that. I'll ID it later. Let's keep fishing. I'll try to cast around to some different spots here because I'm pretty sure all I've been getting down there are those little moharas and those checkered puffers. So we'll cast around, we'll try to get some different species. Little bite. Around this little dock, whatever, there's a fish pinfish around this little dock bridge type thing as soon as they drop it straight down there's always a fish just a matter of if I hook up with it or not all right while I was letting that pinfish go I got a hit over on oh oh that fish is way down there I got a hit on my weightless piece of shrimp what is this Oh, it's one of those needlefish, houndfish things. Let's see which species this is. All right, so this is gonna be what I believe is a houndfish. Now I caught one of these a couple weeks ago and I misidentified it as an Atlantic needlefish. And after doing more research, I think I figured out the way. If you look at the tail here, Notice how the bottom of the tail is longer than the top of the tail? That's gonna be a houndfish, if I'm not mistaken. If these were even, it would be an Atlantic needlefish. So I'm pretty sure this is a houndfish. I will again double check that later, but another new species for the day. Alright, let's drop this back on down there and pray that there are no more pinfish. I definitely don't want those. Fish on. Oh, new species for the day. Blue striped grunt. Yeah, so blue striped grunt. I think this is one of the more common grunt species because I catch these a lot. There's a lot of other grunts that I haven't caught yet, like the uh, French grunt would be an example, but this is just looks like a uh, blue striped grunt. Beautiful fish though. Fish on, fish off. Fish on. What is that? Uh, just another pinfish. Fish on. Dropping real fishing with these pinfish for the last several minutes. Drop this over here by shore by the rocks. See if there's a different fish down here. That was another bite. Like literally as soon as I drop it down, I get a bite, but my bait's gone almost every time. Let's try that again. Oh, um, come on, another bite, another bait gone. Take number three. Fish on. 
blue stripe grunt. All right, another good looking grunt. But this is how the day has gone. Took me three little baits to get this guy, and that, that's actually well above average. Normally it takes me like 10 baits to get one fish. All right, let's see if there's something else down here besides just those little grunts. Fish on. Nope, another blue stripe grunt. fish on. This one feels bigger. At least it pulled well to start. It is a little bit bigger, but it's just another blue stripe. Gr Fish on. Checkered puffer. Fish on. Feels big, but it's probably a puffer. Yep. These guys can pull pretty well. You wouldn't think a puffer fish can get some uh, thrust behind it, but these guys sure can. Fish on. Oh, another puffer. Tons of these guys today. These and pinfish. Yeah, so I still remember the first time I caught a puffer. I was so excited. Like I am with any new species, but puffers, they just have this like little, I don't know what it is about them, but novelty, I guess. They're just different than so many other fish. They're such, a, such an interesting fish. So the first one was cool, but now they're a little bit of a nuisance. All right, so that's gonna do it. I'm out of bait. Overall, I'd say I'm happy with the way today went. Got two new species for the lifeless. First off, that southern puffer I caught way, way, way in the beginning, my first or second fish. Uh, so I've caught now all three of the most common puffer species down in South Florida. Got the checkered, bantail, and then today I got my first southern. Uh, then that mohara, the second new fish from my life list, whatever that ends up being. Not sure on the exact species yet. Took me over an hour and probably about two, th two thirds of my bait to get that one fish. As soon as that bait would hit the bottom, I'd get a whole bunch of little, little nibbles. I just could not hook up with the hook up with them. Those guys are just little bait stealers. And then I got a, several other species of fish that I've caught before, so nothing too exciting. But my favorite part about this kind of fishing, you never know what you're gonna get. Every time you drop your bait down there, it's gonna be, it's a, it's a surprise, right? So great day of fishing. Hope you guys liked it, and I will see you next time.